We have already seen electric cars, motorcycles, trucks and even planes. But electricity-powered boats and yachts have remained under our radar. Today, it's time to present to you already existing watercraft that produce zero emissions as well as noise, not to disturb the marine life and ensure the most serene on-water vacations. The times when you will have to plug in your boat or recharge it using solar panels are almost here. So subscribe to Automotive Territory to always stay informed about the latest electric vehicles. Enjoy your cruise! Jaguar Vector Racing V20e Setting of a new water speed record for electric boats is a rather rare occasion, since the last one had stood since 2008. Finally though, it was broken in 2019 by the speedboat built by the unique partnership between Jaguar, Vector Racing and Williams Advanced Engineering. The development of this vessel took nearly a year and it directly utilizes Formula E technology. The electric powertrain is comprised of a 295 horsepower motor connected to a battery that alone weighs 705 pounds. The speed run took place on the historic Coniston Water in England, where Donald Campbell operating his Bluebird K7 had previously had 318 mph before his tragic death in 1967. The results of the Jaguar Vector piloted by Peter Trudge were much humbler though, and for now, the boat glided through the water at still impressive 88.6 miles per hour. C29e Runabout Carpen Aiming to become the fastest production electric boat on the market, this model was developed by the German C Carbon Yachts that specializes in building high quality carbon fiber motorboats. The watercraft has a very straightforward minimalistic design and its body is made of 100% lightweight carbon with the hull weighing just 880 pounds. It has a maximum load capacity of 1,100 pounds and can accommodate up to six passengers. The boat's electric drive system, including a 500 horsepower motor and a massive liquid-cooled 120 kilowatt-hour battery, comes from the Austrian Chrysler Electric, and it was originally intended to propel the C29e to 55 miles per hour. But regardless of this fact, the yacht was able to beat her own specifications by accelerating to 59 pH during several test runs in the summer of 2018. The C29e runabout carbon is going to be built by the Portier AG at the Swiss Lake Zurich, with a production limited to 25 units. Energy Observer This technological miracle of the future was built in 1983 as a race boat. 30 years later, though, she was sold and completely reconstructed, becoming the first vessel ever that uses only renewable energy, such as wind and solar, and stores its surplus in hydrogen. Through seawater electrolysis, the boat generates carbon-free hydrogen directly on board and later converts it into electricity to power the motors. The system allows the yacht to sail non-stop even at night and during cloudy weather. Solar panels cover 1,507 square feet of the surface and you can walk on them. The vessel produces all the electricity necessary for the operation independently. Today the Energy Observer is on a world tour that started in 2017 and it is scheduled for 6 years. The yacht will make 101 stops in 50 countries, testing onboard technologies under extreme sea conditions along the way. Bruce 22 The Canadian electric boat company is among the pioneers of electric propulsion in marine transportation industry. At the moment, their Bruce 22 is among the world's fastest production electric boats with a top speed of 41 miles per hour. She comes in two modifications, a 5-seat hatchback classic and an 8-seat open utility. The installed battery has impressive capacity up to 104 kWh that should be enough for 2-4 to four hours of operation depending on the performance toll. The Bruce 22 was inspired by the Chris Craft 1947 classic design. She is entirely hand-built and has wide selection of customization options including a 54-inch banquet table, canopy, trailer, cockpit cover, and a mini-fridge. Plus, if you're not looking for a fast cruiser, the brand has recently launched a new Bruce 22 T-boat with a cruise speed of 5 miles per hour and the price tag four times lower than the original Bruce. Quadrofoil Q2S Finally available for pre-order, this two-seat personal watercraft is designed to forever change people's perception of boating. The quadrofoil uses special seafoil technology to be lifted above the water surface, seemingly flying through the air without touching the water with the hull. 
Due to her lightweight composite body, underwater wings and a patented steering system, the Q2S catamaran is able to rise at only 7.5 miles per hour. She is powered by a 5.5 kW onboard motor that is juiced by a 10.4 kWh battery. This capacity, coupled with a special battery management system, allows up to 2 hours or 50 miles of water cruising, while reaching speeds of 25 miles per hour. This makes the Q2S one of the most efficient watercraft on the market, with the operation cost of around $1 per hour. Plus, compared to many e-boats, her price is rather modest, starting from $40,000. Sea Bubble Initially, this hydrofoil was developed by the French startup as an innovative water taxi for up to four passengers and a pilot, with the task to beat heavy traffic within shore cities. However, soon after, the idea was scrapped and replaced with a focus on selling to individual customers as a vessel for adventurous sea exploration. The bubble is powered by a pure electric powertrain, which consists of two 24-horsepower strong motors coupled with a 41-kWh battery. The full charge will cover 40 miles of range or 2.5 hours of operation. The production specifications are expected to reach 16 miles per hour cruise speed and 20 mph top speed, while the takeoff will occur at just 9 miles per hour. The hydrofoil has simple joystick controls, while the interior design is inspired by the car industry. Once you have finished watching this video, leave a comment about the most promising electric watercraft of today. Plus, consider watching other episodes of Automotive Territory. The links are in the description and on the screen. Let's keep going! Alpha Street Marine Energy 23 The Slovenian Alpha Street Marine manufacturer arrived to the market in 2010. The brand's founder and famous constructor teamed up with the designers from Venetian Design and Naval Heads to create a minimalistic, easy-to-operate, but at the same time comfortable weekend cruiser. In the following four years, the company developed two boat models, the smaller Energy 18 and its larger, improved 23 version. Today, the latter one is sold in open and cabin modifications, two trim levels and a range of powertrain options. Among them are traditional gasoline engines as well as hybrid and battery electric mills. The Energy 23 can be equipped with a 7.5 or 10 kW motor and is capable of cruising at 7 mph. It is powered by standard 12.5 or an optional 25 kWh battery packs, covering from 42 to 69 miles on a charge. Q Yachts Q30 More than 10 years ago, the founder of Q Yachts and sailor Yannick Hillman developed the concept of a silent e-motor for his Ocean Vault company. In 2017, when the propulsion systems were brought to perfection, Kilman used them to create his first all-electric yacht that implements a low-voltage system to produce almost zero noise and vibration. The design of the Q30 yacht is so detailed and minimalistic that even the control unit is represented only by a wooden steering wheel, a power control stick and an iPad, from which all boat systems are monitored. The yacht is equipped with a 27-horsepower ocean volt motor powered by a 30 kWh battery. The latter provides the boat with a single charge range of 48 miles at the cruising speed of 10.3 mph. She accommodates up to 8 passengers and even has a small cabin with a compact electric toilet and a sink. Silent 55 Since 2005, the founders of Silent Yachts have been researching and testing alternative power sources for marine transport, launching their first self-sufficient solar-powered catamaran four years later. At the 2018 Cannes Festival of Yachting, the company presented their newest build, a 55-feet-long silence that can cruise for 100 miles a day, powered only by the energy of the sun. The yacht's top deck is dominated by 30 solar panels with a peak output of 10 kW, while down below there is a 430-square-feet cabin. It looks like a well-furnished apartment and can be customized per the customer's request. The catamaran is available in cruiser and e-power modifications. The first is equipped with two 47-horsepower motors and offers the cruising speed of 7 to 9 miles per hour, while the second one gets two 335-horsepower motors easily sailing at 17 mph. Sowell Cat 12 Sowell Yachts is the Dutch company that provides a better and sustainable alternative for coastal water transportation. Working in cooperation with Naval DC, who have 10 years of experience in production of electric water propulsion systems, 
be built the Soulcat 12 catamaran, which should be ideal for sustainable excursions on water. Brought to life by two 40 horsepower electric motors and a tandem of lithium polymer batteries with 120 kilowatt hour combined capacity, the Soul can operate for 6 hours at the cruising speed of 9 miles per hour. With a draft of only 2.3 feet, the Cat 12 has the capacity to enter shallow lagoons and bays, carrying up to 12 passengers and 4 crew. Finally, being covered in solar panels, the yacht can restore its own charge or serve as a power station for remote destinations. Narke the Electro Jet The obscure startup from Hungary, Narke, is the first in the world to produce a working prototype of a fully electric performance set down jet ski. The concept of this personal watercraft is a simple and fully functional model, but powered by electricity instead. The 60 horsepower motor is connected with a lithium ion battery pack and should be able to cover 90 miles on a charge under moderate throttle. The fastest it can go is 35 mph, and it should be able to carry two to three riders. The Narkis creation stands out from the crowd due to its technological features, like full smartphone connectivity, built-in navigation, weather, and phone features. All in all, the Electrojet looks like a great vehicle on paper, but since the jet ski is a niche market, the speed and range it offers might not be enough. Do you agree that electric watercraft are a great idea? Just think about the possibility to traverse the oceans without a drop of fuel, as if you were going under sails. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Watch more electrified content by following the links displayed on the screen. And subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the upcoming releases. Like, share, and may the torque be with you!